Hello, Daz enthusiasts! This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to another Daz tutorial series. All right, well, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about gravity again and how you can pose your bed or chair, sofa, whatever you want, to have a little depression where your character is sitting or laying. Now, this can be done several ways. We can do it using D-Force, we could do it using Mesh Grabber, but what I'm gonna do tonight is show you how to do it just with Hexagon. I don't know why, but I feel like Hexagon is kind of fun and easy. I like it better in a lot of cases than Mesh Grabber because we can save and create a morph. With Mesh Grabber, you create it, but then it's kind of unique to that particular scene. So with hexagon, we can do this and then we can save it and use it again for another scene or another character or something like that. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take our cutie Milica here and you notice that I have her kind of in a position and I'm going to put her down on this bed and we want to give her some pressure on the bed. Now, the key to this, no matter what you're going to use, if it is deformer, mesh grabber, or like I'm going to use hexagon, we have to be careful that we choose the correct prop. Your chair, sofa, bed, it really needs to have a lot of geometry to make this work. I've been trying it with basic geometry. And it just is, it, it just doesn't turn out very well. So you may have to just break down and get a better prop if you don't have one. So if you look here, I have this quilt here on this bed. And you can see it's just loaded with geometry. So the better the geometry, the better we're going to have success making this depression. So I go back to uh, texture mode here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lower Milica down onto the bed where I want her. And uh, you can notice that her kind of her butt and her hand and arm are going into the bed. So I want to just kind of decide how deep of a depression she's going to put into the bed. And I think that's pretty good right there. I kind of like that. So what we have to do is we have to push this quilt down where her butt is and where her arm is. Now to do this in hexagon, I'm going to need to select Milica and I'm going to need to select this quilt. I don't really need the bed because the quilt is sitting on top of the bed. Depending on your prop, you may have to select the bed, but I'm going to select Milica and then I'm going to just hit control and I'm going to select the quilt. So I've got Milica and the quilt selected. I'm going to move these over to hexagon. So I just go to file, send to hexagon, and we're going to open this up in hexagon. I'm going to give it a moment here so that Milica is loaded with her clothes. And here we go. So I hit Alt and my left mouse button and I can rotate around. And now we're just gonna use the toggle on my mouse to zoom in. Control right is gonna kinda zoom into where we wanna be. Okay, so now I can select my quilt in the scene tree here. And I'm gonna go up and just hit soft selection. And once I do that, I can now work with the quilt. Now, I'm gonna just use some basic tools here in Hexagon to do this. I'm gonna use my arrow here, and I'm just gonna go over and hit the faces box, and I am now gonna just be able to select around 
her butt and around her arm. So let's do her arm first. So I'm just gonna kind of select the polygons around Milika's arm. You know, like if you were pushing into the mattress, what would that look like? You kind of have to vision that. Now remember what's really cool about Hexagon is it acts like Milika's arm isn't even there. So you can see I can select all of these quilt polygons around Milika's arm like her arm isn't even present, which is so cool. You can't really do this with Mesh Grabber. And uh, I love Mesh Grabber. I am kind of fell out of sorts with it because, well, you can't get it anymore unless you have that premier membership from Daz. So I've been using Hexagon a lot. Now, once I release that, you're going to see that I have a deformer type plane here selected. And if I go here to radius, I can make this bigger or smaller. See, I can make the whole mattress or I can shrink it down. I'm going to shrink this down to about there. And then I'm going to take my green arrow. I have this selected to world, so my green arrow is straight up and down. And I'm just going to push this mattress down. I think I'm going to make it deeper than it needs to be. And I'm going to do that simply because I can adjust it in DAS Studio. And so I have made this lower than it should be, but that's good. Now, I am actually going to save this like this. I'm going to make two morphs. I'm going to make a morph for her hand, and then I'm going to make a separate morph for her butt. And that's because they aren't going to be adjusted together. We want to adjust them separately. So I'm going to just go ahead, go to File, and send back to Daz Studio. My Daz Studio is flashing, so I know that this worked. And I have this tab open that says hexagon morph. We're going to name this hexagon morph left hand depression. Always select the reverse deformation. So right click on that and hit yes, and then hit accept. Hit OK. Now with the quilt selected, I have this morph that's left hand depression. So see, I can take it all the way down, which is too deep. But see, now I can bring it up and adjust it the way I want it. So that's why I made it deeper than it needs to be. This is going to be kind of subtle. You know, she's pushing down, but we're not having her push down super deep. All right. Now that that's created, I'm going to X out of hexagon because I never save anything in hexagon. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. Select Milica, select the quilt with the control. We're going to go back into hexagon. So send to hexagon. And now we're going to make a butt morph. Hit alt left. Let's get this adjusted, right? Zoom in. Okay. So now I got to just select the same thing. I'm going to select the quilt. We're going to go up, hit soft selection again. I'm going to go up to my left hand arrow, go to my faces. And now I can morph the mattress or the quilt with her butt. So let's just kind of go around her butt. I feel lucky I'm going around Milika's butt here. Not going to complain about that. <laughs> yes, I have a thing for Milika. Give me a break. I know she's not a real person, but she is so cute. How can you not love her? I mean, she is just amazing. She's actually modeled after a person I actually knew in real life who was a just a cutie. And so I'm kind of inspired by this girl that I used to know. But anyway, I am just holding my mouse down and this takes a few minutes. That's why I'm kind of blathering on about Milica, but I'm just selecting this entire area where her butt is. And uh, we could be more precise if we want. I'm gonna kind of keep her in this position. So I'm not too worried about her right side a whole lot. We just want to make a depression in the quilt so that it looks like she's not floating on the quilt. So you can see this is just taking a few minutes. This is probably one of the disadvantages I'll hear from you guys about 
hexagon. The thing I really like about it is you can save these morphs. And see, I could create the hand morph, which is present. You can see it already. It's um, already saved in this version. And then I'm going to create this second morph. And we can use them independently, which is what's super cool. All right, so now I have my field. And I'm going to uh, shrink my field down. I don't really want it too big. If I go one, yeah, see, I, I'm just going to go that much. And we're going to just push this down. And uh, I'm going to go deeper than we need to and just adjust it like that. Now, I can, if I want, uh, smooth this out a little bit if I think it's necessary by going to the UV and paint, hitting this soften tool. And with the quilt selected, I can just come in here, hold my mouse down, kind of smooth this area if I think it's going to look weird. Remember, I over depressed it, I guess. And so I want to shallow it out in Daz Studio, but I can go ahead and do that. If you do that, just hit accept here on the right hand side and it should start smoothing things down. Once I'm pleased, I'm not sure how this is going to look, but let's go back to Daz Studio and we'll make another morph. So now that we have Daz Studio, I've got to rename this. Let's name it Butt Morph or Butt Depression. That's better. Always select the reverse deformations by right clicking and hitting yes. So now with the quilt selected, I have the butt depression and I have our left hand depression. I misspelled hand, oops. But now I can push this down just, you know, a little bit. See, I can go as deep as I want. And what's cool is if you wanna make it deeper, like she's sitting deeper, just increase your depression and then take your girl and lower her down some more so you can adjust her. Now you notice how I kind of have this ring around her. So to fix that, I can just adjust her a little bit and move her and that might do it. Okay, so let's do a render and we'll just see what this looks like. Okay, so I didn't like how that was turning out. This needs to be smoothed more. So I think all I'm gonna do is go back into the quilt. I'm not even gonna select Milica this time. And I'm gonna take it back into hexagon. And we're just gonna smooth out that quilt just a little bit here. Well, Milica went with it, that's okay. Let's smooth out this quilt. I kind of have it just a little bit too rough. So I'm just going to go back, hit soft selection, come back up to the UV map, hit my soften tool, and let's just soften this more. I'm holding down my mouse button here as I'm going over this rough spot. Just trying to smooth this out. You know, Hexagon is a very basic program, and I know I don't like this uh, interface a whole lot either, but it still gets the job done. So the more you make this blue, the more smooth that area is going to get. So I can just hit accept. Well, we definitely smoothed it out. Hopefully not too much. If you make a mistake, just hit control Z and that fixes your mistake. So. We still have a depression, I believe. So let's just go in here, back to Daz Studio. We'll see what this looks like. You know, some of this is just trial and error, I have to say. Now we have this other morph. I'm gonna have to name it like Smooth, maybe. So I just named it Butt Smooth. I don't know why. Now um, we can smooth this out. There we go. So we don't we don't want it totally smooth, it looks like. I mean, there's there's a nice depression. And I, I kind of like that. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now we've just got a small depression. I think I'm going to need to make this hand a little more depressed. Because that elbow. See that elbow? And I'm going to have to adjust this. Let's put her hand down a little bit. You know, you can always make adjustments. What's cool is... Um, Hexagon gives you the freedom to kind of adjust things. So 
you know, like her fingers kind of disappearing. But if you think about it, when you are pushing down on a mattress, the mattress may uh, actually go around your fingers and cause them to disappear. I kind of like that. That looks pretty cute. So uh, let's try a render again and uh, we'll see how that one looks. Hopefully there's not a big shadow under her hand. That's what I noticed the, the first render. And then I just noticed that the depression around her butt was just a little bit rough. That's why I smoothed it out. All right, let's render this picture up, see what happens. Oh, that looks way better. I like that a lot. I don't know what Milika's doing here. She's having fun. I really like this uh, clothing. These uh, This lingerie looks really nice on her. So not complaining about this. Looks like she's uh, getting ready to jump into bed. Okay, so there we have our render. And you can see there's some things that I should do with this. Um, adjust like her leggings and stuff. But overall, I think this looks pretty good. So I hope this helps you. And uh, just, you know, experiment around. Hexagon is super cool. I love using it. I'm going to make some more videos about it soon. I just wanted to show you this because in my last video I was talking about gravity and how important gravity is. And so when we are putting a character onto a piece of furniture or onto some kind of prop, we want to make sure that it looks real. We can also do this a little bit with the character itself, which is going to be an upcoming video. So, you know, when you sit down, your butt squishes. That is going to come up. We're going to play with that with Hexagon next for Hexagon's tutorials. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope this helped. Please like, subscribe, and comment. You know, I have a lot of viewers that haven't subscribed yet. Subscribing is really going to help this little channel out, so I really appreciate it. Until next time, happy rendering. Take care. <laughs>